Hello and welcome to web learning where knowledge is shared. Today in this video I would like to do something new that I never done before and that's to join collaboration with all my viewers to build a very smart 7S battery with BMS and connection. In the market there are many different BMSs uh, each one is doing something else some of them are only for power protection for charging or discharging or charging and discharging some of them also include a balancing mode between the devices they are quite cheap but they don't have any microcontroller and you cannot communicate with them to get more information so in this video I'll show some basic ideas that I have and now I'd like you guys to join me and we'll together open a discussion and try to build the best BMS with the lowest cost possible so let's take for example a 4S BMS and of course we can scale it up after we do this so I'll take also a microcontroller I use the STM32 F042 because this one also has a USB port we can measure each voltage of a battery because of the resistor divider so we can actually measure the voltage on each battery because we know the measurement of the shut resistor we can measure also the capacity on each battery because the current on all the batteries will be the same because they are in series times the voltage of each battery we are able to know exactly what is the capacity for each battery so now, why do I have the SPI communication so the way I see this is each device or each BMS so this is a complete uh, for example 4S BMS plus microcontroller which one will be a 4S microcontroller will transfer the data to the next device to the next microcontroller and as you can see we have an SPI on each device so let's go through the list that I did so to update using SPI and copy internal flash to the next one this is what I showed down here on how to update each data forward SPI, SPI communication between microcontrollers because they have a dual way to upload and download information and this is synchronous data so we don't need any accurate crystal or something for the high-speed data this is much more easy we can add also to this data except for the voltage and current for each battery we can say if the information if the battery is discharging or if it's charging or there is no change in the data or the, the battery is bad the last microcontroller is a USB so we said that we'll do that we can do voltage control so we can know exactly what is the voltage to each device plastic using 3D printer we can also build a plastic uh, case for this sleep between readings so the microcontroller doesn't have to be always on let's say if we measure every second then we can put the microcontroller in sleep that will save also a lot of energy stop when not use using resistor in the analog watchdog timer using resistor in the analog watchdog to see the changes greater than zero wakes up every one second so again we can use uh, a mechanism on the voltage to see if there is any change on the batteries so if there is no change on the shunt for example so it means that there is no current that's being drawn and the system can be um, dormant we can set the microcontroller to uh, stop at 2.5 so the lock looking at the voltage of each battery we can decide uh, what voltage it is and then we can uh, start working again when the batteries are being recharged small LDO from the 4.2 again we can use a 4.2 from here using an LDO to control the microcontroller a shunt resistor we added this internal pull up on the GPIO to SPI and external pull up uh, this was an idea that I made to decide if the communication is just the USB or the SPI 
but again it takes more pins it uh, doesn't really matter the last thing is the gate folder pc software software update chain and the main bms so there are a few things to do here one is uh, the actual design of the board so i saved this project so i'm sharing this uh, document at the link uh, below you can see what i wrote and the design uh, you can see for now the bomb that i've used but those are very simple parts uh, there are no attachment and i left here a place to comment so any comment that you have for the design any idea that you have for this schematic when we'll start doing the pcb design any comments let's write them here and uh, i'll start doing it um, after i see some collaboration maybe i'll add also some members to help me with the design itself also for the github i opened a folder for the code the we'll do here in the github the pc software and the software to update the chain and the main bms so we'll have here three three folders one folder is for the pc to see all the data coming in we can do it as a picture we can do it uh, whoever can help me in the pc program the other software will be the actual code that we're going to do uh, for the microcontroller. Let's use the STM Cubemix, the HAL, and the Atolic so everybody can uh, join in. And one thing that I want to do at the end of the BMS, after we do everything, I want to have an automatic update. So when we'll have a new code that's being generated, because the SPI has up and also down, we can push an update of the flash to the microcontroller and this will push it forward to all the, all the microcontrollers so from the PC software so thank you for this let me know what you think um, one comment uh, we can do also some load balancing and thank you for everything